Hello! In this video, we are going to go over how to play Frere Jaca, which is number 88 in Essential Elements, Book 1. Frere Jaca is a French folk song. You may have heard it or sung it in class before. Um, it has lyrics in French. It also has lyrics, lyrics being words, in English. I thought I would just sing it for you guys, uh, just so you could hear what it sounds like before we start. Um, here are the words. I'll play along at the same time. I start on D. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John? Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding ding dong. Ding ding dong. If you can sing this song, you can play this song. So the first thing I want you to do is grab your pencils and we're going to put in some lines to divide the phrases or sections of the song. So in the song, each phrase is four measures. So we start the song. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? the first four measures. Let's look at what those notes are. We said we start on D. Let's sing those note names together. D, E, F sharp, D, D, E, F sharp, D. That's the first phrase. Go ahead and put a slash mark after that fourth measure. Now right here in your music there's a little two and a circle. And that is just telling you that that is where the second group of people would start if we did this in a round and layered it with different groups of musicians. It's also, conveniently, a second finger, because what note is that in measure five? If you're a viola, it's in your fourth space. Good. Your rebounds. Don't. Fall. F sharp. If you're a violin, it's in that bottom space. F for face. So right there, in the second phrase, this is the part where it goes, Brother John, Brother John. Okay, put a slash mark at the end of that line. That's the end of the second phrase. Now you're on to the second line. New phrase. This is the trickiest one, and this is where the eighth notes are. So if I were you, I would take your pencils and I would maybe write down the fingering right here. Because what note do we start on on the second line? Sits on that. If you're a violin, it's sitting in that second space. F, A. Okay, we're on our A string right here. See the little zero, A string. Violas, right on top of the staff. There's that A. So right here, we go, this is the part where it goes, Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Take your pencil, draw a slash mark right underneath the other slash mark after those four measures on that second line. And then the last section of this piece, the last four measures, is just Two notes, D and A. Ding, ding, dong. Ding, ding, dong. Okay. So now, let's go back to that third section. I recommend grabbing your pencil and writing in the finger numbers for this chunk of music. So you start on an A with zero fingers. It's already there for you. Your next note is one note higher. We go from A up to B. First finger, add a one. We go from B down to A, zero. And then we go from A down a note. We have to go one note lower than A. It means we have to head over to three fingers on our D string for G. So write a three right there. You might want to write it a G underneath it too, okay? And then our next two quarter notes, F sharp, second finger, and we skip to D, no fingers. A 
And then it repeats. It does that two times. Here's this part. Watch my fingers. practicing, especially that third chunk of music, the beginning of the second line, plucking, and thinking of your fingers swinging over to that D string early. I want to make sure they're ready when I need them for that G. Do that a couple times, just those four notes. Don't go on, you don't need to go on. And then go on and add in the F sharp and the D. four sections. We practiced the third section. We know there's some tricky things in there. Um, let's go ahead and pluck this from the beginning to the end. We won't do the repeat. We'll just pluck it once all the way through. Okay, so I'm finding my second finger, F sharp. Do we start on F sharp? No. Lift it up. I was tricking you. Okay, we're going to start on a D. Okay, for Frere Jacques. Ready? But I'm not going to right now. Okay, go back, and play with me a couple times. Reverse, rewind, go back to that place, and let's go ahead and try it with our bows. I'm going to turn this way so I don't hit my plant. Oh, I'm going to hit my plant anyway. I'd have to move the plant next time. Okay, find your D. Drop that wrist, fingers nice and curvy, ready, and... <laughs> for those strings. You have D, A, D, and then another one. Got two dads in a row. D, A, D, D, A, D. Let this guy help you. Really feel it dropping lower. Make sure your bow is really changing direction each time you change note. Try to avoid this. This is a slur. This is advanced. You don't need to be advanced right now. You don't want to do that. That's a slur or a hooked bow. That's doing two notes that go the same way. So make sure you don't do that in this one, okay? Good luck. This is number 88 in our book, and it is also the brown belt in Miss Harton's Orchestra Curve.